how this is gonna work is um I what I did in the crash free playthrough is go through a warp room and did all the time trials that I hadn't done yet. And then I did the remaining I got the remaining gems. Um and then after I did that I did the same thing for the next warp room. Um so I'm gonna do the same thing here so we get a good mixture of reddit of time trials and and gem paths so we don't just have like a full part of just time trials also that still works but yeah uh feel 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 free to like just bring up any random topics because this is basically just the filler part <laughs> Did you have anything on in on your mind right now? Uh, let's see. Crash does run animation looks a little silly. Yeah. I like how in a uh, huge adventure when it, it's funny how like the animate the walking animation uh, is like really fluent and looks pretty good. But then when when she start to get the running shoes, it looks really derpy and like choppy, for lack of a better word. Also, I don't know if we'll ever, I don't know if we're gonna do an LP or huge adventure at any point. But if there's one game that really didn't need to have time trials, it's that one because there's literally no secret levels you unlock. The only reason to get the relics in that game is to get to the final boss. That's it. And uh, what, make, what makes it worse is that you have to get gold relics, and I found that out the hard way. Gross. It's like... Crash 3 made gold relics, like, an extra thing that you could get, but Huge Adventure makes it a requirement to get to the best ending, and it's just... Don't do it like that. Ugh. Okay, don't you need gold relics to get a good ending in Nitro Kart? Uh, I don't know. But I'll, I'll let that slide because racing games kind of work a bit differently. That and I haven't played it, so... I think I 100% of Crash Team Racing. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Some of those letter placements are evil. <laughs> How long does it generally take? You, you, didn't you say like you did it before? I, I think to just be more willing to actually play sit through games, but seven years ago, like that, took me about a month. Ah, uh, dang. Well, how often did you play? Did you uh, play it? Uh, uh, I had a. I, I, mean, I usually would go through it at least maybe for a while. Hmm. So my I, thing with. I seem to be. Go on. I seem to just. Play games for long sessions sporadically nowadays. I don't know why. <laughs> it kind of just depends on my mood. Sometimes I have a long session, sometimes I just play something for like. 30 minutes. It depends. It depends on my mood and what I'm playing. Yeah, I can barely keep up with you, Harry. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Alright. What, the level's done already? Yeah, wow. Well, wait, when, you, when you ignore everything, it goes by pretty fast, and I was only a gold. But, um... Was it? Uh, I don't know. For some reason, nowadays I have the hardest time, like, um, like finishing new games. Like, for some reason, finishing one game for me takes way, like way too long than it should. I uh, I don't know if you have that cut. Uh, if you have an issue like that, but I I tend to always, like keep on going back to other games uh like smash and whatnot so and it ends up making me take mu up to months to finish one game even if it's like not even that long 
So have you, do you have issues like that at all? I still haven't finished Insane Trilogy, I'd suppose. <laughs> I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's fair enough. I wonder if I can actually do, okay, no, I can't. Yeah, that's a gem puff. You can't activate it during the, the, during the uh, time trial. Do you feel nostalgic seeing this level again? Takes me back to Christmas 2002. Hmm. Oh man, I hate the camera sometimes. This game doesn't indulge in backtracking quite as much as Crash 2 and 3. That's true. Um, I. If there's one thing that this game does right, it's the lack of backtracking, because um, there really isn't... Oops. <laughs> there really isn't much at all in this game, if if any. I can't really remember any port, uh, backtracking parts. But yeah. At least they give you, some, they give you mercy in that regard. It's one of the few things this game does better than the trilogy. Which is a very small list, so... Man. Um... Uh, that was weird. <laughs> Perspe perspective. I wonder if there are, like, people that, um... I mean, there's, there's always gonna... Every game's gonna have its fans. But I wonder if, like, there's anyone out there who, um, enjoys this more than, like, the trilogy, or what have you. you know, I mean, you can make a case for this being better than Crash 1 in some respects. Yeah, yeah. I can understand that. Would you rather play this over Crash 1, or vice versa? The original Crash 1? Probably. Hmm. Why are you going back in? Uh, we do we're doing the uh, gem path now. We never did that? <laughs> nope. Because this is, I think you need the gold gem for this one. Your r yellow gem, rather, but they, it looks more gold to me, so... I always just called it that. And thankfully, we have an Akuraku crate because uh, uh, Akuraku mask because this is like it get this gets pretty silly. Gosh, and the camera doesn't help much either later on. Yeah, like. It's not the card itself, it's Akuaku blocking it. Oh, that too, yeah. Nope. Yeah, this the, the, is... Ugh. Like, it's... They're definitely expecting some trial and error here. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I think it's, it really made me realize I hate Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it makes sense why they make you do this pathway late in the game, because like by this point they they know like you've gone to the fifth warp room, so I can understand like wanting to ramp up the difficulty, but mm. sometimes it's a I bit mean, too much. There's a difference between difficulty and you know cheapness. Yeah. So when it changes the camera view like that, like, it's hard to react in time because you don't know where the nitro is going to be. Like, that end bit is like the worst thing ever. And we don't have Aku Aku anymore. I think you can still get pity masks in this game, but I'm not sure. I, I don't think I've seen you. Again, uh, maybe once, but I can't remember. Yeah, I don't recall. 
If I if we can get one, that'll be nice. So, okay, do this, and then it's gonna go over here, and then... Yeah, how are you supposed oh. to... Th they expect you to turn, like, immediately. Like, I was pressing left, like, <laughs> like as soon as I saw the nitro, and it was still too late. Ugh. It's a creative, creative, uh, oh crap, that was close. Uh, creative, uh, kind of idea to have the minecart be part of a gem, uh, gem route, but like, I forgot about that, I uh, forgot where the nitro was, but like, ugh, man. <laughs> I don't even know any anymore. Again, this game's difficulty uh, is all over the place. Like, it's one. I hate you. I hate to keep comparing this game to the two and to two and three, but it's another reason why I just rather play those games because the difficulty scaling just works a lot better in those games. Mm. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> there we go, pity mask. Okay, good. I didn't hear a sound though, but whatever. At least they start you back far enough that you can get enough mobile fruit to get a new life. That's true. Although game overs aren't ready, uh, a worry uh, at the moment. We'd we'd have to really suck to lose all those. I remember how many lives I lost in Stormy Ascent. <laughs> like, oh man. I don't understand how you're supposed to do this legitimately. I think you're supposed to jump over some of them because... There we go. Okay, yeah, because I, I always use up a mask for that last bit. It, it's just, like, stupidly precise for no r real reason. And, uh... Ah, oh, no, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> like, I... I challenge... Everyone who has this game and is watching this playthrough to try and do that area without using a mask and see how far you get. <laughs> so we're, we've got some more time trials to go through, so, um... Hmm. That's the weather. Uh... It's, it's, it's kind of cold outside today. How about you? Never sure. Hmm. What's your those guys? <laughs> What's your opinion on the uh, jungle levels? The good while since we had one in a crash game, ironically enough. Yeah. <laughs> I think about it, we only had like one of these in the in this game, didn't we? Yeah, I don't remember another one. I think it's X to accelerate this vehicle. The rhinos are back. Game. Oh, oh. that was close. Like they like if they break those time frames, it doesn't count. Nope. Oh crap. Oh, okay. 
It's a uh, Rambi and friends. The one thing this game that say. Ah. Uh, oh. What's that? The one thing this game did well was was just have a lot of aesthetic variety in the levels. Yeah. I think that, yeah, I think the two strong suits for this game is that there's, like, virtually no backtracking now that, um, that, that I remember, uh, and every level is somewhat unique. Uh, I, like, there's, there's definitely a soundtrack variety, because every level has a unique theme. Or, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I do appreciate that. Yeah. Warped with, like, you can see, like, it was kind of, like, Warped was already kind of trying to do something with the level aesthetic variety, trying to set certain levels at certain times of day. Oh, yeah. It, it, it was like... I appreciated that. It, the, yeah, they were, like, slowly trying to make it more and more, uh, like, every level was distinct. Because uh, my one of my issues with Crash 2 is, I keep forgetting where the, these ramps are. But one of my issues with Crash 2 is the fact that a lot of the levels feel too samey. Like, like in, in the original game anyway, not so much insane. Like the Turtle Woods and the Pits look basically exactly the same, and. It, ca it makes it makes a lot of levels just kind of blend together. So it's basically just this is a sewer level, but harder. But it looks exactly the same. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> so I appreciate like Crash Free, like trying to like it's still the same level theme, but like they make it n turn it to night or make make it like raining, make it like rain outside and stuff like that. It's like little touches make it stand out more. Oops. Oh well. Because um, what they did in Insane Trilogy, uh, they made. I don't know if they did it with more levels, but I know they made the pits at uh, sunset, which makes it stand out a lot more. So, yeah. It's it's kind of crazy how much like just changing the time of day can affect the uh, the level, like just visually. Right now, Nintendo's gonna take notes <laughs> when they make another new Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So when I get to the next section, I gotta remember to go to the to the right. So it's a. Another, there's a time box here, and then go to the right. And now we just hope we don't fall. Yeah, I think it's the end. Yep, just over here. I missed it. Oh well. <laughs> uh. Were we talking about anything? Uh. Visual changes the visual variety Raft Cortex has compared to the. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Again, credits credit where it's true. Even even if the game, the game's color palette is a bit washed out for my liking. But you you do what you do, I guess. I don't know, like, I'm still wondering what in the world happens with the color. Yeah. 
I I mm, I guess it's a mix mixture of new developers and uh, new technology. Because obviously, like all of this had to be made from scratch. They couldn't just use Naughty Dog's assets. That's pretty cool. Just using the boxes to go through that faster. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang it. No. Jeez, the camera just drowned. Yep. She can't swim in this game, apparently. Oops. I remember seeing her angel death animation as a kid, and that stuff creeped me out. Like, Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering, but it seems like she didn't even have eyes when she died. Uh, I think she... Dang it. I think she still has eyes, but... I can understand being creeped out in the sense that, like, she... Like, she's clearly trying to fight back. Whereas Crash just kind of hopelessly floats away. Coco's, like, really trying to... F really, like, fidgeting. He's like, no. Oh, gosh. I, I don't even remember that. <laughs> I was... Basically, like... Well, glowing angel eyes. <laughs> and that looked a little un... Yeah, I don't remember that specifically, but I can understand. I'm probably misremembering, because it's been... Mm. Death like... Six, like, 16 years since I've last seen that death animation. Hmm. Yeah, I keep, and I keep getting... I keep getting that death animation. I can't believe they brought that back, that thing. Yeah. Ugh. It's kind of weird how uh, Insane Trilogy didn't bring it back. At least I don't think it did. I got tired of seeing it so often in Crash 1, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm not going to bother with that. That's probably going to just kill me. Okay, we got further than the... Oh, crap. Further than the last times. Hmm. I, I never... I, I never liked crashing Coco... Crashing, I guess, now. Coco's drowning animation just... Hmm. Oh, there you go. Okay, so she does have normal eyes. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Be about that. <laughs> Dang it. She seems actually a little. Yeah, she, you can tell she's like. Fight. Yeah, she's, you can tell she's trying to fight back. Dang it, man. I get. I feel sad when everything really mess with Coco in the games. Yeah. If you miss all the boxes and crash one. Yeah. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. children if you put on if you have a mask near you you can survive a lethal explosion <laughs> hmm oops that was a brain fart at least killed the fish <laughs> the true girl ah dang it stupid pop-ups Really had an early level of 154 boxes. How many boxes are in this? 154. Dang. Uh, me thinks Traveler's Tales was maybe emulating the worst parts of the... Too much. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I had this on, on the mind earlier, but I, it, 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 it dropped from my, my, from my mind. Uh, but... I was gonna ask, what do you have like a 
favorite um, art style for Crash? Like, like for instance, like, would you say like Twin Sanity is your favorite kind of design, or the trilo the main Naughty Dog trilogy, or like the for Crash in particular, or just the cast in general? Well, well, I mean like the general like world design and like and it, like just everything in general. So it, it extends to like character designs and like level the how the levels look. Because like we've talked a lot about the color palette being washed out here, so I was just wondering like what like what Crash games would you say you like the look of in general? Like anything but this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any favorites? Uh, Crash Three. Uh, no, I kind of like Nitro Car to an extent. Hmm a bit. I do like the Raggle games, art direction, it works for what they're going for. Yeah, I don't... I... Mm, I, I... For me, like... I probably say, like, Crash 3 is definitely up there with all the, the visual variety with the time trial, time trial, the time travel and all that, uh, but I, uh, I get a kick out to Insanity's art design. And, um... <laughs> Other, I, I, I enjoy the, I, I like the, um, the Titans art direction quite a bit too. Specifically Mind Over Mutant. Yeah, Mind Over Mutant actually has really nice art direction. Like, yeah. Well, like, Crash games have always generally been easy on the eyes, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I tend to enjoy the art direction more in games that, uh, uh, um, easy on the eyes rather than games that try to look overly flashy and just try to look really they, they try way too hard to look good but in the process just hurt your eyes Do you have any examples? Personal examples for you? Not off the top of my head but still <laughs> but it's just like a general example of like what I'd prefer to have like sometimes, sometimes uh, 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 having less is more. I guess. I can I can see that. Like, I mean, I'm not, I don't entirely agree with some of the fans who say this, but I, some of them do prefer the earlier Mortal Kombat games with the more streamlined character designs. Mm. I can understand yeah. that. It depends on the character. It depends on the character in question for me. In, in the case of Mortal Kombat, because there's a lot of recolors in that in the earlier entries. Mm. So the costumes look good, but they're repeated ad nauseum. So there's like three really good designs in the original trilogy. Designs. <laughs> oh, 165. Jeez. Hmm. So now that, well, that, uh, since you brought up um, Mortal Kombat, what would you say is your favorite favorite art design in that game, or like favorite games art design for that series? Uh, it's hard to tell because it's always ch they always try to chase realism, but it doesn't always mm. translate well in the, the games themselves. Okay. Um. And I've only actually played one game, but I've followed oh. at least kind of looked at every other. Oof. Yeah. The only game I played was Deadly Alliance, which I'm not sure is anyone's favorite in terms of art direction. <laughs> I do have a I do have an affinity for those most of the character designs, not mm. talk, but okay. the rest are all right. I can't really say I'm... much about Mortal Kombat because uh, I haven't played any of them. And it's one of it's one of those series where like I I feel like the fatalities is, would ju I just would just be too much for me, like dang it, yeah I I've seen some of them and they uh, I I I just I just can't swallow them like they they're just a, they're just too much for me to handle. 
I thought that it was too much to handle in 2002, and look where we are now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have and no... lines and fatalities look quaint by comparison nowadays. Yeah. Like, I have no doubt that the games are well designed and fun to play, but um, if I'm get being grossed out every like every minute or so, I don't. It's, it's they aren't really games I'd want to play personally. That's completely fair. Yeah. God, I I wish I wasn't so huh. Sorry, what were you saying? I, w I wish I wasn't so queasy, but it is what it I mean, is, I guess. Those things, I mean, they're gross. I don't really blame anyone. <laughs> it's the, I think that the thing is, like, that people might, might uh, say, like, I, like, I, 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 play, uh, I play and enjoy doing 2016, and that's also really gory, but the thing, I think the difference is, there is that um, the Doom stuff is, like, all alien, all aliens and like it, it's it's quick and to the point and it like it doesn't dwell on things too much and it's not like hyper realistic if you will whereas the stuff in Mortal Kombat is like it dwells on like it dwells on it for a while and like it's obviously like part of like the human body which is like something that it's just disgusting to look at <laughs> really and um, I don't know the the like they they're both really gory but um the the way like do uh, the way doom is is uh it's easier for me to swallow if that makes any sense I mean hmm. I don't know, do you rip out aliens entrails in doom uh you you do some like Crazy stuff with with the um, with the uh, demons uh, sometimes, but again, it's like really quick, so it's it you, you don't really see it for like that long. I don't know. Like you do some nasty stuff in Mortal Kombat these days. Hmm. It's, it's, I don't know, you can make an argument for being just kind of over the top enough that's almost cartoonish in itself, but... I guess so. It's, it's still pretty gross. Then again, uh, I also, uh... I couldn't watch, uh, Happy Tree Friends growing up, because that... It's like, it's like... Really over-the-top, like, gross cartoon humor, and like... Like even that, like comp completely, like screwed me up. I remember. No, yeah, I, I don't like Happy Tree Friends. I watched that in high school. I didn't like it. Yeah, I it was one of those things that's just too much for me. Um, like I re I remember specifically one time they had it had an episode play during a school assembly. I forget what the occasion was, but I <laughs> I, <laughs> I I remember just looking at the. <laughs> I remember. I, oh, oh no! I think it was. So, I, I think it was like some something to do with like Easter, um, and f from what I understand, like this guy just ate a bunch of eggs, and then like chickens basically just came out of his stomach, and yeah, you, just just by me like explaining that, that just sounds horrifying. But sounds like a like like alien. <laughs> Yeah, in a sense, yeah. Uh, but I, I did not hit like look at any of it. Like as soon as soon as the episode started, I just looked at the floor the entire time. And when I when it was done, and they start the people started talking again, all I saw was the guy just lying on the floor. And um, yeah, I, I oh man, I just can't, I just can't handle stuff like that. Oh, dang it. That stupid bird is out for my blood. Hmm. That's, an in that's a question, then. Uh, the... Um, are there any... Is there anything... You, uh... You know is, uh, like, good? But you just... For personal reasons, you just can't watch or play it? Like, 
Like, for instance, you, you can't watch something because it will make you too queasy, or you can't watch it because it's, it would be too scary for you, or something like that. But you know it's like, you know it's, you know it's supposed to be good anyway, if that makes sense. I need to watch the original Alien at some point, but I know it's gonna be some body horror. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine, like, Alien might be too much for me as well. Like, a lot of horror stuff I just can't handle. Uh, let's see, um, I've heard good things about the Parasite Eve games, and... I kind of want to, like, at least watch a Let's Play of them, but... Mm. Body Horror Central. <laughs> Uh, dang it. Okay, this is a bit of a of a mess. Oh come on. Oh. Also that's a super belly flop by the way, because for some reason we have a power up in the cocoa level. Also we've lost the music again. This game let's play. This let's this let's play is cursed. Probably watch Berserk at some point. I've heard about that. What what is that? Three uh, manga and anime. Hmm. Very bloody. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Um, it, it, there's um other series. Um, I it it, it would be hard for me to play any of the Silent Hill or, or most of Re the Resident Evil games because of the horror, s horror atmosphere. At least, uh, at least some of the... Silent Hill has a lot of violent infantry, but it seems to be more playing to psychological horror than zombies. Is that Silent Hill or Resident Evil? Silent Hill's it's more psychological focused, but I mean, it's still blood and guts. <laughs> I feel like I'd probably be able to play Resident Evil 4 or 5, which is, there's, uh, the one that's more action focused, um... 4 through 6. Hmm? 4 through, four six. through 6. Okay. Because I, I can, I can, like, if the, I can deal with, like, a, like, zombies and whatnot if it's, if it, the focus of the game isn't to make them scary and it's more go in and just kill them. And have fun. Well, I can do with that. But, um, RE4 maybe straddles the line. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure, but people seem to say it kind of straddles the line more than. Straddles the line more than what now? Straddles the line of action in horror more than 5 and 6, I guess, because okay. it's just starting the transition. I've heard really good things about the Resident Evil 2 remake, but from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like a game I'd be able to play. Yeah. But... Yeah. So, would you play the original then, if with the lower quality graphics? Um, I can't believe I didn't get hit there, but, um, I don't know. Like, there's a case to be made that it might be less scary, although there's a part of me that thinks that some are with the PS1. <laughs> mm. I mean, it, it's a case-by-case -case basis, I guess, because sometimes lower poly models can look scarier than, like, more realistic ones. Like, unintentionally, because, um... Uh, the, I don't know. Sometimes there's something uncanny about really weird-looking models. For the FMVs, like that, that yeah, <laughs> that too. Parasite Eve is like the perfect '90s horror game. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of the <laughs> only uses for the Death Tornado spin. All right, screw that. What? I jumped on you.
Jeez, Harry. Slow down. <laughs> Okay, cool. Forty-five seconds. Nice. I guess going going back to the top and more combat designs. Um, on Tobias's art looked better than the actual human models they got. <laughs> it was like comic book artist, so yeah, it shows in the actual concept sketches. Hmm. I would, I'd, I'd like a Mortal Kombat game that had visuals like his old sketches. Yeah. Moving on to the, basically to the 3D era, um, character designers for that. Yeah, I'm probably the only person who, like, really has, like, a fondness for those designs. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, some of them look pretty over-designed, but I guess mm -hmm. that kind of, dang, <laughs> She got run over. Yeah. I don't think you can kill those things. Oh my, some of the 3D era more kind of designs are a little over designed, but I do love them. Yeah. Some of them. Sub Zero probably has his, my favorite, uh, like, this 3D era probably has my favorite Sub Zero design. <laughs> Basically, it looks like the Shredder, and it's great. Oh, nice. Oh, speaking of, um, turtles, uh, have you uh, seen the uh, trailer for the um, TMNT uh, Batman crossover? Because it actually looks pretty oh, good. Yes, it looks yeah, really good. I'm looking forward to that. I still haven't watched the uh, Rise of the TM TMNT. I haven't had time to sit down and watch that yet. Have you seen any of that? No, I have not. I... It was actually. Hmm. Because I want to give it a fair chance. But, yeah, you know, I just haven't had the time. See, if you close the door, the tsunami stops. That's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good logic. Because, uh, yeah, you were... I think you were getting pizza or something last time we did the level, so you missed that. This might. Th this playthrough. Um... Faster than I expected. Hmm? I expected. Yeah, because um, we usually take quite a while to finish playthroughs. Um, but th this has been going by really fast. I think most of it is just. Hmm? The nonsense we had to deal with. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it's been going on forever, but in the grand scheme of things, um. It's only taken like a few weeks, I think. 